Curtis, and Kristen, and Linda, and David, and I need you to get in some sort of a box-like box -like shape. All right, we're going to start out with a game called Rotate. Rotate. And what's going to happen is, for instance, if I would say two counterclockwise, what would you, what would you do? <laughs> they would first learn what counterclockwise meant, <laughs> and then they would go in that direction. And what's going to happen is, we are going to assign relationships to each pair of two people in the front. And each time they get to the front, they have to continue on with their relationship in whatever, however they want to show their relationship between them. So I'm going to get four. So the first two people at the head of the line, Curtis and uh, David, they are inanimate objects. Normally they would be things that could not move or talk, say like a salt and pepper shaker. But we are going to allow these inanimate objects to move and talk. Can somebody give me two inanimate objects that will be together that will talk and move what they normally couldn't do it? Yes, sir? Fork and knife. A fork. We'll get three and I'll pick fork and knife. Yes, ma'am? Remote control television. Remote control and television, yes, sir. Pot and a kettle. Pot and a kettle. Oh. I'm going to go with the uh, the remote control and the television. All right. So one clockwise, please. <laughs> <laughs> they learned counterclockwise. Now they learn clockwise. We should be in good shape for the rest of the show. All right. These two, these two are normally. Well, they are rivals in some way. They can be rival human beings, they can be rival animals, but I need them to be two rivals. Two rivals. What, what, what kind of rivals are these two Don't people? Yes. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. With three of them, we'll pick one. Yes, sir? A snake and a mongoose. A snake and a mongoose and... Teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, they're two teenage girl rivals. All right. So, one, one clockwise once again, please. <laughs> These two people are two animals. They may be animals that get along, they may be animals that don't get along, but they, these are speaking animals. What uh, two type, give me two animals that these two people are. First hand up, give me one animal, and then we'll get the other one. Give me an animal. Kangaroo. What you, what's that? Kangaroo. All right, one of them will be a kangaroo, and the other one will be a monkey, a monkey and a kangaroo, all right? So one more clockwise, please. All right, these two are historical figures who would not have lived at the in the same time period. Two historical figures that would not have lived. Give me one of them. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, <laughs> and the other one that did not live in that same time period? Napoleon. N Napoleon and Genghis Khan. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna say, well, yes, I am gonna say something about my upbringing. They wouldn't have lived at the same time, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I came from a small town, I'm sorry. All right, so everybody, okay, so go one clockwise and we'll review what our relationship is. We won't say who's who, they'll figure that out amongst themselves, but give me both of the things. What are they? Television and remote control. Okay, one clockwise, please. Girl. Okay. Yeah. Put it clockwise, please. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And one more clockwise. Napoleon and Genghis Khan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three counterclockwise and begin. One, two, three. Good job. You changed me. You know, you turned me on and you changed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing here, man. <laughs> yeah, but somebody- Two counterclockwise! <laughs> <laughs> so, how you doing? What are you doing in the jungle? I'm itchy! Right here! You wanna pick some fun down? Yeah, actually. One clockwise! What? what? One clockwise! <laughs> you! Are not a horseman like my people are. Uh -huh. We are from Mongolia, <laughs> and we know how to ride horses. Well, I am French, and I have the superiority of the sword because my people are not yet cowards. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I'm gonna run away from you and then charge with my sword. Two counterclockwise. <laughs> I can't believe it. Why did you totally kiss my boyfriend? <laughs> Why did you videotape me smoking salvia and put it on YouTube? <laughs> That's so funny. My dad saw it. You got like a thousand. Now I want to hang out with you all the time. Five clockwise! <laughs> Five clockwise! One counterclockwise! Um, so, like, your dad wants to, like, talk to me? <laughs> yeah, he says you're cute. Really? How old is you he? You fat bitch! <laughs> 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 and we have the croissant as well. <laughs> 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 
me get off my horse. And I have a whole new place. <laughs> and so, how do you say it in your language? Unclockwise. Unclockwise. I'm just going to say it. Do you want to have my house? Oh, yeah. Two counterclockwise. <laughs> So, you know, I want to put it on that dirty channel, okay? <laughs> just once, just for a little while, 10 minutes. Dude! Can I just put you on the dirty channel for 10 minutes? Yes I'm or not no? a freaking Teletubby, man. That's on my belly. <laughs> well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to do what I want. Uh, you understand? One clockwise! Two clockwise. Clockwise. Oh my god, like, so, um, you call me a fat bitch, and yeah. I hate you. Yeah. But, like, do you still want to, like, go to Moon's later? Uh, totally. <laughs> Duh. I'll text you. Okay, fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first day.